introduction and uh, thanks to the, to the organizer for the invitation, which is uh, quite an honor for me. I'm sorry that my talk will consist only of a simple exercise, and I should say an exercise uh, still in progress. Uh, I will discuss uh, duality for vanishing cycles in etal cohomology for L torsion coefficients. Well, this is not really a new topic, but uh, this is one, I think, in which uh, there are still things to understand and uh, even enjoy. Let me uh, recall the story. So I will work over a strictly local tray S. Uh, and with the usual notations, S, the closed point, eta, the generic point, <coughs> eta bar, uh, separable closure of eta, I, the inertia group, I will uh, take a prime number L different from the characteristic of S. And I will work with coefficients uh, lambda, uh, z to L mu z, for mu at least one. Uh, now, if uh, x is a scheme of finite type over s, uh, <coughs> the functor of uh, nearby cycles is defined as follows. We have the special fiber Ixs in X, generic one, and here we have the pullback of X eta to X to eta bar, and here J bar, and for a complex L in D plot of X lambda of psi L, Definition is alpha star uh, g bar or star of L restricted to x eta bar. So this is a complex on the special fiber excess of lambda of i module. And for m in D plus of x lambda, uh, our phi of m uh, is defined as the cone of n plus star m to our psi of m is also in D plus <coughs> of x s lambda. Uh, in the mid uh, 70s, the link proved that from the upside sends a DBC to DBC. So DBC means a full subcategory of complexes which are with the HI are bounded and uh, consist of constructible uh, commutative sheets. Uh, in the early uh, 80s, uh, Gaber found the compatibility of upside with duality. To express the result, it's convenient uh, here to work with a slight modification of the capital Psi and capital Phi. Namely, I put Psi L as I lower star of <coughs> Psi L and I shift by minus one. So now this is an object in D plus of X and uh, I concentrated on excess, and uh, similarly, I will put phi L, I, I do a star of phi L, shifted by minus one. And uh, uh, to discuss duality, I need the dualizing complex. I define Ks to be lambda S of one of two. I could take on that, but this is more convenient. And uh, if Ax is a map from X to S, I put Kx 
is air flow shriek of Ks. And I will use the dualizing complex D r hom over x or hom on the line is the u in Kx. And if I have a complex over x eta, I still uh, take the r hom with the u in the Kx restricted to x eta. result is a canonical isomorphism between a psi dl of minus 1 and d psi l <coughs> or l in dc of x eta lambda. There is an account of this in the uh, seminar on the period periodic. Um, now, uh, so I think he put this around uh, 1982, something like this. Uh, combined with the fact that uh, psi is uh, right t exact, it gives that psi is t exact. And in particular, uh, transforms uh, perverse sheaves on x to into perverse sheaves on x. Gaber also proved that phi sends perverse sheaves on x to perverse sheaves on x. It's not a trivial consequence of the first result. It means. Uh, uh, subtle dévisage. And that raises the question whether phi is in fact uh, t exact. Or, in other words, is phi commute with duality up to some twist, perhaps? In 1986, uh, No, no, uh, yes, 1986. Benson uh, sketched um, a proof of, the, of this, or at least a method, which in principle could give a proof, uh, using the so called uh, maximal, what he called his maximal extension functor. Details were never written out. A few years later, Moriko Saito transposed Bellinson's method in the context of uh, topological uh, spaces and duality, and also for uh, regular holonomic D modules uh, with certain smoothness assumptions. It turns out that uh, last year there was a conference in uh, Montpellier, and uh, Bellinson was there, and uh, I asked him uh, about uh, duality for phi. And he said, oh, this is very easy, very simple. And he explained to me a simplified version of his maximal extension functor, which is uh, maybe not so easy to understand in the, his paper. His paper is a how to glue perverse sheaves. And this is the method. This is the method I will uh, I will discuss here. Uh, with the further simplification, I uh, obtained uh, quite recently, actually, uh, in collaboration with Walter Tang. So uh, this was the first part somehow some kind of a swift uh, 
historical sketch let me turn now to duality profile consider the, the maximal uh, uh, L-team character with i to the other one kernel p prime which is the pro group of order prime to n if f is a an i module i denote by ft for l team part the invariant of f under p prime so this is an ls zl of one sheaf The functor uh, taking invariance under p prime is uh, exact, and in fact, this is the image of the projector kappa, where kappa is uh, one of the, or short of the order of p prime sum, or g in p prime. G, of course, for any fixed x and continuous i action, you. Uh, first pass to a quotient, uh, finite quotient on which, uh, through which uh, I, uh, P acts. And then we have a decomposition F is FT, FT plus F NT, which is the image of one minus kappa. And in particular, we have decomposition psi is the psi T plus psi NT. This pass to the right category. And uh, similarly for phi, but you see, I upper star uh, m is just this uh, L team uh, part because, of course, uh, p acts trivially and i acts trivially. So then we have phi is phi t, phi t plus uh, psi nt. So uh, now uh, you want duality for phi. But you have duality for psi and t because you have duality for psi by, by Gaber. So duality for phi is reduced to duality for phi t. Now psi t has a description which is similar to that of psi, namely replacing uh, eta bar by eta team, the maximal L team extension. So xs is in x, and we have here x eta, g, i. And instead of uh, x eta bar, I look at x eta team here, which is obtained by pullback from uh, eta to eta t, which is limit of eta of pi to l minus n for pi uniformizing parameter. So let me do my q the projection here. And uh, psi t for l in z plus of x eta, psi t of l is i u r star of r g lower star. So in the sequel for brevity, I will omit the r before the in front of the Dirac functor, uh, g t lower star of uh, l restricted to x eta t, which is one minus one. So by kinesis here for this uh, Cartesian squares is also i lower star of g lower star of uh, g tensor uh, L, where g is the direct image of lambda. Uh, so this uh, g is, a, of course, a zero of one lambda module and a continuous one. So it's, in fact, a module over 
dit au savoir algebra, lambda double bracket dl au moins, which is isomorphic lambda double bracket t, if t is 1 minus sigma, sigma topological generator of zl au moins. And uh, this is, uh, is in D plus of X and R. And similarly, phi is also in D plus of X R. <coughs> you, uh, you want to write up a star? Ah, no, no, sorry. Uh, it, sorry, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, phi t of m is also in d plus of x. Now, um, you have i upper star, i upper star, you have forgot yes, you and forget, i upper star. Ah, uh, i upper star. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, now, uh, why the notation G? Because, in fact, G will play the role of an infinite Jordan block. This is a torsion R module. And in fact, uh, its torque at eta t is in fact uh, r, z t minus 1 over r. So this uh, sheaf, this etal, this big etal sheaf with the big monodromy action uh, is a key uh, actor in this uh, story. Now, uh, in order to state uh, duality theorem for phi t, uh, need some notation. Uh, R is a lambda algebra, but it's an augmented lambda algebra. And following the balance of notation, I will denote by R of 1, 2, tau, the augmentation ideal. So if I have chosen a T, this is a principal ideal. In fact, it's isomorphic to TR. But I don't want to choose a, a topological generator sigma of a, of a ZL of 1 and not a T. But uh, this is an invertible uh, R module, and so I can consider its uh, tensor power, which I will denote following Bennington again, Rn tau, which is R of 1 tau, tau tensor n, for n in Z. Of course, if I choose, if I choose T, then uh, I have an isomorphism sending 1 to in, in T to the N. Now, these are N uh, form a sequence for N larger than N, just R of N tau containing R of N tau. And uh, in particular, we have uh, R contained in R of minus 1 tau. Now, uh, if F is an R module, I can uh, define the Iwasawa twist, F of M tau as F tensor over R of N tau. Uh, this construction passes to complexes. And in particular here, this inclusion induces a morphism from F to F of minus 1 tau identity tensor of this inclusion, which is in general no longer 
an inclusion, and which is convenient to denote by beta. This is again Bellinson notation, and this beta is some kind of a monodromy operator. Why? It's because if you compose here with the isomorphism with f, uh, given by multiplication by t, then the beta becomes multiplication by t. And t is 1 minus sigma, so it's some kind of monodromy. Now the main theorem is the following. For M in DBC of X lambda, there exists, which means uh, uh, we will construct a canonical. Functorial isomorphism. <coughs> if I t dm, so there are two twists, a US of I twist and tape twist here. Now, uh, a corollary of this, of course, is that uh, you get uh, duality for phi. So you get d phi m isomorphic to d phi t, so phi t d m of one, two, one tau minus one plus psi nt dm restricted to uh, eta of minus 1. And here, non-canonically, by which I mean the choice of t, then you can trivialize this, and then you get phi t dm of minus 1 plus psi nt dm uh, uh, eta. So, in fact, you get phi dm of minus 1. So, uh, you get that uh, uh, phi is t exact, and you recover a uh, Gabbert result that phi preserves uh, perversity. Um, the proof of the theorem uses uh, Bellinson's description of phi uh, by means of this uh, maximum extension functor, which gives a um, sort of a, a self-dual description of phi. Certainly, the description of the, uh, the cone of a, a I upper star m into a, a psi is uh, certainly asymmetric uh, when you do dualize. The psi is dualized, but the I upper star is uh, replaced by some I upper shriek, and you don't see anything on duality. So that was uh, the, the puzzle. And here is the solution. So phi t and then some psi. Um, I will use the uh, following notation if A to B is a morphism of complexes. I denote like uh, uh, Dreamfeld does in some paper uh, by cocone of A to B, um, the cone of A to B shifted by minus 1. Is any morphism? Uh, morphism, yes. Morphism of complexes, yes. Mm. 
Now, um, I will come to the beta here. If you look at beta for f equal to j, you get a surjection and the kernel is lambda. You can see that on taking the, the stroke at eta t, looking at the 1 minus sigma and the t. Then, um, if uh, uh, L is in B plus of x theta lambda, then uh, from this you get uh, J shriek L is the cocoon of uh, J shriek L to J shriek J lower shriek L of minus 1 tau. You can tensor with, uh, with L and you get a triangle. And similarly, J lower star, by which I mean our J lower star is the cocoon of J lower star L to J lower star L of minus 1 tau. You forgot some of the projection. Oh, sorry, I, I forgot the G. Oh, yes, sorry. Like it. You get G lower shrink L is the cocoon of uh, G lower shrink J tensor L to G lower star, to G lower shrink L tensor, the G tensor L minus one star, and similarly for G lower star L, the same. Now, uh, what is the, the Psi T, the Psi T? So the definition is uh, here, this is a uh, high upper star of J lower star, but we push by uh, I lower star, and the shift by minus one. So actually this uh, Psi T is, um, can be written as just the cocoon of J lower shriek of J tensor L to J lower star of J tensor L. There is no twist here. Now we have several uh, formulas here and we can assemble them into some diagram. Consider uh, J lower star J tensor L, J lower star J tensor L minus one tau, and the similar thing with J lower shriek, So horizontal maps are beta, and uh, vertical uh, maps are canonical maps from J lower shriek to J lower star. And I have, this is a commutative diagram, and I can look at gamma, the diagonal map. This diagram can be, in fact, lifted as a commutative diagram of complexes by replacing L by, let's say, got more resolution. And the uh, Benitsen definition of Xi filter is Xi L is a cocoon of gamma from G G tensor L to G lower star and G tensor L minus one tau. Here, this diagram uh, gives you two commutative triangles. Uh, the commutative triangle gives you uh, an octahedron, and the lower 
octahedron here gives you a, a triangle on the cocoons. So you get here a distinguished triangle. So what is the cocoon here? This is J lower shriek of L. Goes to psi of L. So this is, uh, I forgot to say that this is what we call the maximal extension center. So it goes, uh, by the remark I made, it goes from d plus of x eta L to d plus of x R. Uh, so we get j lower shriek, psi. And uh, here we get uh, the cocoon of j lower shriek to j lower source, which is a psi, but uh, twisted uh, alay wasawa by minus one tau. And the upper triangle gives you sequence here. Here you have the, the psi, and psi t l goes to psi, goes to here, this is the J dwarf star of L. Uh, these triangles uh, show that uh, uh, Xi ascends DBC to DBC. And if uh, uh, L is perverse, then uh, J lower shriek and J lower star are also perverse, and then Xi is perverse. Note that uh, even for uh, X equal to uh, eta and uh, uh, equal to S, and uh, L, the constant chief lambda, on the eta, the xi of lambda is not a trivial object. It is given by sequence uh, by triangle one, where psi t of l, psi t of lambda is just uh, lambda shifted by minus one concentrated on the close point. And then you see that uh, xi lambda eta, in fact, is given by some element in x2 of this uh, lambda concentrated in the close point and the j lower shake lambda. So this is a class C in uh, H2, always supporting S of S in lambda 1, and we just see it in fact the class, complete class of the point. And uh, contrary to Psi, which has no monodromy, this uh, Xi has a monodromy. In general, the image of beta from uh, Xi L to uh, 1 tau to Xi L for L perverse, say, uh, is given by the composition here. You go Xi L one tau to Psi, and then Psi to Xi L, and you just get Psi, Psi T of L. So, uh, so what is H to S supporting S? Yes. yes. Now, why is this interesting? Uh, it is because uh, psi is related to phi. Uh, consider the following uh, diagram. Take n d plus of x lambda 
And you can see there m goes to j lower star m, restricted to eta, and here j lower star m, restricted to eta. Then j lower star uh, m eta goes into psi of m eta. And in two, I see that psi m eta goes to j lower star m eta. And composition is a canonical map from k shrink to j star. So I have a community diagram, which again can be lifted to diagram, commutative diagram of complexes. Let me denote it by B of n. Commutative diagram of complexes, I can see it as a bicomplex of complexes, concentrated in degree. So I will put n in degree 0, 0, so it will be in degree 0, 1 times minus 1, 0. And of course, I can take the simple associated complex to this. And the result, due to Benson, is that the simple associated complex is nothing but phi t of n. And the proof is immediate, essentially. You replace this diagram by m j star j tensor m eta j star j m eta minus 1 tau. No. J shriek here, J tensor meta. Uh, somehow you display the psi in the J lower star using this uh, uh, expression I gave before. So here is this. So you have the, the bicomplex, and of course here you can, so this is essentially equivalent to that. So this is of course a cyclic, so to calculate the, the simple associated complex, you can ignore this, and you look at the cone here. So here you get uh, I of star m, and here you get uh, uh, phi uh, of psi. Tn is j lower shrink to j lower star, and this appears in degree 0, 1, so this is the, the phi. So this is uh, just an obvious observation. Now, uh, the main uh, result is the following. I mean, the main uh, point in the main ingredient to put uh, here and 1. Is theorem two? There exists a theorem two for L D D C of S eta lambda. There exists a canonical. Functorial <coughs> isomorphism uh, psi dl of one tau minus one to d psi l compatible in the obvious sense with triangles one two and d and psi, psi t dl is morphic to the of uh, psi um, minus one. Um, that theorem two implies theorem uh, one is uh, easy.
You see, uh, look at the picture here. So dualize. Then Xi is self-dual of two twists. J star is transformed into J shriek. J shriek transformed into J star and M transformed into DM. So in fact, uh, if you define B minus of M by the, the square, where you put here Xi M eta, here J lower shriek M <coughs> eta, maybe I will take N to change notation for n in uh, d plus of x uh, lambda. You have a similar uh, square here, g north star of n, and here you have uh, <coughs> side of n eta. Then, uh, so this will be now in degree, I will uh, still put, uh, no, sorry, uh, uh, n here. I will still put uh, uh, n in degree 0, 0, so this will be now in degree minus 1, 0 times uh, 0, 1. And you see that the d of b of m, no, before I do that, note that uh, again, s b minus of n is uh, the fact of l. Now, Joule uh, exchanges the b and the b minus, so the d of b of m, m is b minus of b m, and then you get the, uh, the result, the side. Uh, so, in fact, you get, uh, here is not exactly this, I should put here one tau, and minus one. Here <coughs> you might be surprised because uh, at some point I put uh, double twists and at other places I don't put any. For example at M I take the jewel and I don't put any twist. The reason is that uh, if uh, F uh, as trivial uh, ZL of one action then T twist equals uh, uh, Iwasawa twist. In fact, you have that uh, R of 1 tau modulo of 2 tau, it's just lambda of 1. So uh, f of n tau is uh, f of n, if trivial, uh, zero of 1 action. So then you get that, and then you get the, the formula for xi d. Now, uh, observe that uh, we have the canonical sequence psi t m eta to uh, phi t m i uh, lower star i upper star m. And uh, this map is sometimes called, called the canonical map. And you have a similar sequence, a similar triangle here. I do a star a of shriek of M uh, going to, I'm oh, sorry, oh, uh, uh, one, going to phi t of M uh, one tau going to psi t of n eta, where here the, the map is a variation map. So the beta, the monodromy goes from psi to psi. The variation is a, a factorization of that, which is the cocoon of zero and beta. Now, uh, these are, uh, I don't have time to explain it, but it's uh, very easy to recover these uh, triangles uh, from the description here of phi as a simple uh, complex associated to, uh, to B, in fact. Uh, you have a double complex. 
So we have two filtrations, uh, naive filtration by first degree and naive filtration by second degree. The naive filtration by first degree will give you this sequence. Second degree will give you this one. Now D exchanges B and B minus and uh, exchanges first and second filtration. So then B uh, exchanges these two sequences, these two uh, triangles. Now let me uh, give an idea of the proof of the CRL2. Which is in fact quite easy. The core of the matter is uh, in this uh, infinite Jordan block J. So recall that J is Q lower star of lambda, where Q is projection from eta t into eta. So J is an inductive limit of Jm, where Jm Q and lower star lambda, where here this is eta of pi of L minus M projection QL. And uh, also note that uh, GM is canonically is dual with value in lambda by the trace pairing. So the inductive system uh, GM is also uh, gives also a projective system where the map from GM plus one to GM is a trace map. Now the main lemma, which is uh, and the rest, we still joint with the Wechel. I should also acknowledge a very fruitful discussion with uh, Offer last week about these uh, questions. Uh, lemma, uh, which is for us, uh, for me, it was a, uh, an extraordinary surprise. But this is very simple anyway. So, what is our own lambda or J to lambda? So, J is an inductive uh, limit, an inductive limit. So, you think it will be a projective limit, but no, it's again uh, an inductive limit. So, this is J of minus 1 and minus 1, canonically. So if you like, uh, this can also be written as our lim of Gn. So this is curious that the uh, projective limit is an inductive limit. So the reason is that, uh, uh, yes, I have time. How do you calculate this aham? You uh, calculate the stock at eta t, eta t. Well, that will be an inductive limit. Here comes the inductive limit from n. Of a projective limit, an r lim actually, of our gamma eta n and gm. Now, a uh, simple calculation shows that the Po object lim m of h0 eta n and gm is in fact zero. So it's the projective system is essentially zero and even it is a artinary zero. And for the other guy, H1. So H0 and H1, so eta n is the quotient by uh, L to the n, the L of 1. So uh, H0 and H1 are invariant and co-invariant. So H1, eta n, and co-invariant with the shift, uh, the, the twist of minus 1, is in fact essentially constant of that you are n minus 1. <coughs> and then you apply the limit, and that's finished. 
and then uh, you get a pairing, perfect pairing. Now if y is a scheme over eta of time and type, and you take L in B plus of, uh, of Y, lambda, you get a pairing J tensor L, tensor J tensor DL into KY, one, one, pairing which I will denote by star. L and L or L and D, and you said L and DL. The last line, last line. No, last line. The last line is the, the radial dual. Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you. You thank said you. it. You said it, but. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Right. Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you. And if x is a scheme over s, or l in d plus of x eta and lambda, you get a pairing j lower shriek of uh, j tensor l, tensor j lower star of j tensor l. DL into K, first in J lower shriek of K, then in fact in the K of 1 of 1. Okay. Let me call it uh, double star. Now theorem 3 is that for L in DBC of Y or X eta, then star and double star are perfect. That is, identify each of the factors with the dual uh, of the other. So the proof is that this first of all, you prove the star is perfect. Well, this is easy actually. Um, by a simple devisage, in fact, you reduce to y equal to eta. And then this is the result, uh, this is the, the key lemma. Now, the double star says two things. A, that uh, j was star of j tensor dl of um, minus one, minus one, to d j uh, lower shriek of j tensor l in magimorphism, and b that j lower shriek. Uh, now, uh, changing L to DL, the G tensor DL minus 1 minus 1 to D G lower star of G tensor L is an isomorphism. Now, since uh, star is perfect, the trivial duality that D G lower shriek is uh, G lower star D gives you A. plus d j lower shrink is j lower star b gives you a to be an isomorphism. For b, combined a with gathers Psi T D L minus one 
d psi of t l. In fact, uh, what is psi t? It's the cocoon of j lower shriek j tensor l to j lower star j tensor l. So when you take the d psi t, then already one of the, the d you know. So the d j lower shriek you know already. So then it remains this guy, but you know so the cocoon. So then you go for, so then you know it for, uh, for, for B. So this gives you uh, B. We have to some compatibility. Okay. You have to some compatibility reduced into compatibility over eta. Actually, when you look at the, the way the map is defined using trace maps, and then you reduce to eta. But you surely you have to check this compatibility. So uh, this uh, finishes the proof of theorem three, and hence of uh, so once you get, uh, of course, uh, theorem three, theorem three it implies uh, xi d one to minus one uh, equal to the xi, because the the xi is also a cocoon, cocoon of j lower shrink to j lower star, but with a twist. So you know those both uh, terms, and then uh, so you know so the cocoon. So this is immediate. So this is finished. Now uh, uh, let me. So I, I think I have the two minutes. Um, and there is one question uh, that uh, Lomont raised uh, about this uh, key lemma. Uh, how about uh, replacing eta team by eta bar? Would it still hold? So it's um, conceivable, but still uh, we don't know. Uh, the the p prime is a little uh, complicated, and uh, we don't know. Uh, also, Lomont asks for uh, j replaced by other thing. So, for example, you uh, you take a finite field and its algebraic closure. You take the projection and take a direct image of lambda. Uh, you have that uh, the dual is uh, the shift itself shifted by by minus one. We don't know. In this case, uh, no twist, uh, no t twist should uh, should what appear. Are you Hmm? Can you say again what you're no. So I suppose you take uh, now Q, no, I'm sorry, the F, spec F Q bar, and spec F Q. And, and so take F G, now take G F on lambda. So is uh, our home on G lambda on G of minus 1? Uh, no to it because the so the, you take the, you have the ZL quotient, uh, the, uh, the maximal ZL extension, not ZL of one extension. So then uh, no to it. But this is plausible, but we don't know. I think it should be exactly the same. Well, okay. The Galois, okay. It should be the same. Now, also, uh, um, one remark on the proof. You see, uh, this duality is uh, very bizarre. Uh, if you uh, consider the poetal uh, site of uh, eta, you have the map nu. Now, uh, you can consider the the projective limit of a new upper star of uh, GM. So this is a least uh, sheaf of R modules on the poetal site, which is uh, in fact an algebra, and it's uh, free of rank one. Uh, and so let me define J check. So it is not zero here, but the Somehow the, the formula in of lemma is equivalent to saying that our new star J shriek is torsion, is our torsion. And uh, one can ask for 
uh, jwr 3 replaced maybe by constructible complexes of j uh, modules, uh, j check modules. Now, the applications, I will just, so six or five applications. So the main application is that uh, to uh, local acyclicity. So local acyclicity means a phi is zero, so phi is self-dual, so then uh, DLA is LA. So then you get uh, Takeshi Saito's uh, result on the stability of the singular support and the uh, characteristic cycle by duality. So SSD, SD, SS, and CCD is uh, DCC. Oh, sorry, SSD is, uh, sorry, is uh, SS. So it's too, too fast. SS of DF is SS of F, and uh, CC of DF is the CC of F. Here it could be for x a smooth over k and f uh, in the uh, CTF of x. Not the constructible infinite or dimension. So you have this uh, theory of singular support and characteristic cycle. But uh, these uh, uh, objects are controlled by phi. And uh, then since phi is self dual, then uh, you get that. Now, uh, I heard that uh, offer can generalize all this very simply to a general basis. Uh, so, uh, so deep psi t, deep psi t is upside uh, t e, and also for phi t, other uh, s generally. And uh, then uh, from this, he, it should follow that uh, LA is also ULA and DLA is LA. So this is a cryptic, so local acyclicity. So LA equal to ULA means uh, universal local acyclicity, that is local acyclicity after base change. And uh, DLA equal LA over S uh, regular, excellent, etc. So the dual of the local acyclic uh, uh, speed is also. So, but, uh, well, this is just maybe uh, some, uh, some hope at the, at the moment. Uh, at least uh, in the smooth case, but I, uh, my, my time is over, so I, um, I leave it uh, here. Yeah, yeah. So this for further uh, study, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much. Tokyo, then Beijing, then Paris. Hello. Tokyo? Yeah, so the, this last result you mentioned, Java, uh, what, what is this uh, sub T? Well, so uh, I think uh, Ophir should answer it. I think he hopes to <laughs> some uh, theory of team, uh, team nearby cycles. No, no, not exactly. No, yeah. No, anyway, the. the, the so anyway, the second is LA equal ULA, so using of Google's those results, so one is to, so there is an alteration or, or a modification for which vanishing cycle, the, the lin one vanishing cycle behave well, and then you can use test curves, so to speak, to, hmm. to control the enough, yeah. uh, you have enough to control the, some constructible shifts on hmm. the oriented the product of us using it, hmm. test curves. Hmm. You reduce to, hmm. so, and then, the, the, so I'm not really claiming to, well, I did not uh, uh, study but the, so anyway, maybe but, uh, the I think you can do it, but, but it was, I did not yeah, actually. But uh, I think so Takeshi's uh, question was about the Psi T, uh, Psi T. So uh, you, I think you told me that you, uh, you would, you were hoping for a theory of the team nearby cycles over a general basis. Is it right? Uh, maybe this is a mixture of something 
from different times and something that and so possibly, but the problem with the, uh, the oriented exactly. topaz is that uh, here you, you would have to, to take suitable stratifications and uh, well, you have also probably to, to find substitutes for the XI uh, functor. So you, uh, certainly you have to do something like that if you uh, want to get no, to anyway, there, is, there are notions of tameness yes. for shears, but uh, I'm not really claiming mm. at the moment I'm not no, I'm not really claiming this. What I'm saying is that the, there should be a, a good behavior for uh, duality and perverse uh, filtration. So that the idea is to, to do it over any S by some cohomological descent, mm. reducing mm. stress regular. I mean, there are some, mm. so it's kind of, uh, mm. it, but not, okay. but of course, if you have a, a situation with uh, good behavior of vanishing cycles, then because you know it for test curves and results, you should get something for the one thing, but this is not, well, probably mm. you can get mm. something, but this is not really worked out, so it's not. Uh, Sorry for it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I have a question on the name, so, so this, Factor psi, uh, it's called uh, maximal extension factor. So wh why it's called maximal extension factor? So uh, to take eta, so uh, take lambda and eta. So you have uh, several mm. extensions. So uh, the mm, uh, so the the J -Loire, J -Loire, uh, uh, J star, which is just uh, just uh, lambda somehow. And then uh, you mm -hmm. have the um, also J lower shriek uh, lower star, which is just uh, lambda. But uh, uh, in fact, um, the, the, the Xi as a part on, uh, is not uh, only uh, as a part in degree, in degree uh, one, in conjugate uh, degree one and degree zero. So it's not, uh, it's a complex with the non-trivial action. So it's, a, it's bigger somehow than, uh, than the, the J lower shriek lower star. So in fact, uh, it's some kind of a maximal uh, uh, self dual extension of, uh, of this uh, uh, mm -hmm. lambda. So um, mm -hmm. uh, both J lower shriek and uh, so uh, the, the J lower shriek lower star <coughs> or is the, and the, um, uh, 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 Xi are both uh, self dual extension, but one is bigger than the other. And uh, it seems that, in a suitable uh, sense, uh, maybe a sense which is not uh, completely clear to me, I should confess, uh, this is the biggest one. Uh, maybe in um, um, the D-module viewpoint, it can be seen otherwise. Offer, do you have some, uh, some uh, explanation for this uh, maximal extension, other than it is uh, somehow bigger, it has more, uh, oh, you more stuff. Yeah, there was this old paper of, of uh, Perrin's you mm. mentioned, so I, mm. I remember, re mm. but I did not look at it recently, so mm. I don't remember mm. this well, so you are just mm. saying. Mm. So, uh, and but it is certainly, certainly bigger, it has more stuff and <coughs> more monotony also. Mm. Mm. Are there further questions? No? Yeah, that is from uh, Tokyo. Thank you. Thank you. So we go to Beijing. So, uh, <laughs> so the old question. <laughs> so uh, you started with uh, strictly Hanselian DVR. What about the case of a Hanselian DVR? Well, uh, <laughs> you asked me the question before, yes. Uh, so uh, now that I have those uh, those twists uh, right, you see the one two and minus one. So th then I, of course, uh, this is uh, uh, func uh, functorial. If you uh, if you if you have some uh, eta zero and eta and take uh, an, an, an action by Galois uh, by transportation of structure, you transport one thing into the other. So then uh, somehow you have a certain compatibility there. But uh, you have to transport from uh, eta to uh, uh, to uh, from eta bar to eta bar, eta thing to eta thing, and then, then you transport the j, you transport everything. That, uh, so uh, it is uh, in fact uh, uh, 
certainly, uh, so I, I could have neglected, of course, uh, both Ted Twist and Iwasawa Twist, but I didn't want to do so. So then I, 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 I kept track of this uh, Ted Twist, and then uh, isomorphism I have is uh, completely uh, functorial. If I have an, is an isomorphism uh, from uh, to something on eta zero and the uh, two things on uh, and, uh, the pullback on eta, and I take an automorphism, then it is compatible, so there is no problem. So in fact, um, that gives also uh, in some arithmetic situation that uh, then um, you can take the the graded for the monodromy filtration, and then no no uh, twist, uh, no no Iwasawa twist appear there, and then you get that uh, d of gra is gra of d uh, for phi and uh, for psi. Mm. Well, for phi, certainly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There's no more questions from Beijing. Okay. So, are there any questions in this? Uh, yes. Just to precise what the method you are using. So, in the case of this duality with this J large thing for, for uh, schemes of finite type over X, yes. eta. so in the technique, uh, do you use uh, uh, some alteration to reduce? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's simply you reduce to something smooth and then you use a trivial duality. So, you use a global duality, uh, a junction like this. And uh, F over 3 D is. Uh, so this is a, a, a trivial thing. So uh, you are, no, no, you, you don't need that. No, you don't need any alteration. Okay, so you. So this is a trivial dévisage. Because you you check you claim that you checked you checked it that just for eta, and then you have to. No, no, no. Of course, you have on y. So then you you reduce to let's say j or. Uh, to you reduce to the general shriek of something locally constant and then uh, uh, image on the something and so on locally constant something smooth and then uh, you reduce to uh, in fact the something smooth and then uh, well, this is, uh, okay. uh, so this and when it's smooth and locally constant then uh, you see the, the d of the uh, upper, upper star is uh, Okay. A smooth f upper star is f upper shriek, and then you use a junction, and so it's, 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 that's finished. You, know, you reduce to eta. Okay. No, no, that's, uh, there, there's nothing deep here. But uh, you're right that uh, for the b, when maybe uh, b here, b of course is, uh, is difficult. And uh, well, in my uh, previous approach, I I proved uh, I didn't prove b. But I put uh, I, I use the proetal side and then I, I could get that, but assuming psi t is constructible. So actually it's almost as difficult to prove that uh, psi t is constructible as it's compatible with, with D. And so it's not so okay, but not so great. And then if you the interesting thing would be really to to, to prove for other as you suggested actually, for torsion. So for Constructible J shriek J uh, check complex to prove our torsion. The reason the the reason for this is that you have a, um, a sequence zero R of one R uh, say uh, let me write C minus one so that you can understand what it is and the dual in here. So you have an by using a little bit of authentic duality, you get this. And so I think which are filled by this give you the isomorphism between this and, and this with a shift. And so this gives you the torsion. So, uh, but uh, to do that, then you uh, will we, we need uh, alterations and uh, in visage, uh, I suppose. But uh, also some uh, non-trivial uh, results on the proetal side, with which are uh, not so to comfortable. Do, uh, to do, uh, <laughs> or to prove generalization of this uh, of this torsion thing. Hmm. Other questions? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I have a short one. Uh, yes. So. I suppose the, the sort of the same proof works in the complex analytic case. Uh, Moriko Saito uh, gave a proof uh, um, with Q coefficients. First of all, it doesn't work with Z coefficients, 
and uh, using, uh, it's not exactly the same proof. You see, uh, Bennington's uh, original idea uses scattering method. So, it, so it's a big word, but it means that uh, instead of J, you take some, uh, some truncation. So you have this infinite Jordan block. So uh, you look at finite Jordan block and the jewel. So, but the, the jewel is then, there is a translation. Yeah? And so uh, somehow you can ignore this translation. So up to translation, this is the so-called uh, scattering. And this is what, uh, what uh, Moriko Saito does. So in the, the length n Jordan block, you look at its dual, uh, uh, but then you you will complex in degree minus n zero, and you have the zero something zero n, and then uh, using this, but uh, it's not completely clear how to. Uh, so he has a xi counter, of course, and uh, but uh, not exactly what I defined here. There is no. No Iwasawa twist, there is no, no such a thing. So we'd like to have something uh, over Z, but um, uh, it's not at all uh, clear uh, how we can do it. Other questions? So if not, let's take this figure again.